Grab your sunglasses. I'm loving this solar stuff. On World's Toughest Fixes, we harness the sun. Oh, yeah. that is incredibly hot. It's two towers of blinding solar power, and it's about to go online. I bet we could really get a rocket. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't want to be here for that. All we gotta do, lift 65 tons. The monster's coming. It won't tip over, but it will explode. <laughs> Suspended, 160 feet. They're not falling over. Not yet. Not yet. That's good. They might. Above a field of mirrors. What could possibly go wrong? Game over. Let's go home. I'm done. Internal combustion and fossil fuels have ruled the road for the last hundred years. But we all know that's a dead end. If we're gonna keep riding down the highway, it'll be on bikes like this. Have a listen. That's right, no exhaust. This bike is battery powered. Even still, the power for this battery has to come from somewhere. Electricity may be the future of transportation, but to truly escape the cycle of fossil fuels, we'll need to find new ways of making that electricity that don't burn anything. That's what makes this fix so cool. Here in Lancaster, California, we're building a solar plant that could pave the way for future energy needs. To pull this fix off, we're gonna have to meld old technology with the new. We'll need to rebuild a relic revolutionize software, and suspend two giant structures over a field of mirrors. We're gonna have to lift these over 100,000 pound boilers 160 feet up there. If we fail, there's gonna be way more than seven years of bad luck. Our fix will focus on three major components, the mirrors, the boilers, and the turbine. First, we'll suspend two massive receivers, or boilers, 160 feet atop two towers. Next, program four fields of 6,000 mirrors, 24,000 in all, precisely tracking the sun simultaneously, reflecting the sun's rays just right to heat the boilers and create massive amounts of steam. 